This is the trailer for a book made movie from controversial Christian author Ted Decker's book called House. Scary? Yes. And that's the point. Up on the screen, it'll be a bit of a scary thing. You know, until light comes in and makes it all right. It's a bit dark. His novel, Three, hit the big screen earlier this year and was released by Fox Faith Films, a story about the struggle between good and evil. But to understand the man himself, you need to know where he came from. Ted grew up in the jungles of Indonesia, a missionary kid exploring his own world. I grew up, I mean, throw a, throw a pair of shorts on, no shoes, no shirt, take off into the jungle. I mean, seriously, that's how I grew up. It was a completely different culture. Ted left the jungle for the United States in college, but after several years in business, he decided to pursue his first love. Ted moved to the mountains of western Colorado to perfect his passion, writing heart-pounding stories that speak the language of our culture. It's critical, I think, as a storyteller. As, as anybody who's interested in, in impacting culture, you must speak the language of the culture you wish to impact. To say that your style is out of the box is a huge understatement. What do you hope to accomplish when you sit down to write? When I sit down to write a novel, I am exploring my own relationship with God, with the struggle between good and evil, my own purpose. Because my journey is so similar to everyone else's journey, because we all are human, and we all have been defeated by the powers of darkness, and we all find redemption in the light of Christ. Why is it so important for you to show evil as it is? It's critical that we use a very dark brush, a black brush, when we paint evil. Okay? And so that when you bring the light into that darkness, as characterized in John 1, that light becomes very, is very vivid. And when it dispels the, the darkness, um, we, we see the brilliance that's there. The release of House this fall will surely have Christians talking. Ted has been criticized by some in the Christian community who feel his stories are too edgy. And while he believes he might turn some off, Ted says there are many more out there searching for something that makes sense. It is a story of salvation in no uncertain terms, but it's also a horror story. Because what is salvation but being saved from, you know, a pit of horror? But it's never been done this way. I think. I think a lot of young people are going to look at that and feel like, oh my goodness, someone's actually speaking my language, finally. His newest novel, Skin, continues to push the boundaries of how Christian fiction looks. I mean, if you could find a way to peel back the skin of this world, so to speak, would you really see this supernatural reality that which is greater? Is it true that we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers? Every young person wants to know. Every good story has a great hero, but Ted says his stories reflect the hero of all heroes. The greatest hero that exists today is without doubt Jesus Christ. And to characterize him as a hero, it's important to make his enemy a ferocious enemy. And the one story that is the most, I think, exciting to all of us and to him is that story when he defeats evil. Good versus evil, light versus dark. Ted Decker's novels all point to one prevailing truth and one invincible hero who gave it all to rescue us all. He's coming. I'm being rescued every time I write a story. Essentially, that's why I write stories. I want to relive that, that moment of rescue over and over and over again in unique and different ways. I'm obsessed with it, but you know, um, I don't think it's such a bad thing to remember where we've come from, to remember the darkness once again, and to relive the redemption. Uh, I think it's a very healthy thing.